Are there any benefits to you playing free or no stakes poker? Find out together. Let's dive into this. Someone new joins our league and is playing with us for the first time. What is the best advice you would give to that person? The best advice I would give to that person? Well, first and foremost, it would be welcoming to have fun. You know, uh, what are we? We're a social league. We're a group of friends, family, whatever you want to call it. They get together, we socialize, and we play some cards. Um, you know, that's probably the biggest aspect I would give you know, piece of advice I would give to them, you know, just have fun. You know, we're not high stakes. We're not low stakes. We're not the casino. We're no stakes. We are no stakes poker. Uh, you know, I said that in Rich's question that I wish I had this. My launching pad was home games and the casino. I didn't have free leagues that I could play with. And, you know, it's a great starting point for players that don't know the game, want to learn the game, or have been playing in those, you know, in home games and things like that, but want to just work on their skill set. And, you know, that's been a great thing with us. You know, I have earned so many friends throughout this, and we've also kind of coaxed players into starting to play in those low stakes and high stakes games at the casino you know maybe somebody didn't have the courage to go to the casino before but after playing with us for a while and learning a little bit more of the game and things like that they've kind of ventured out and you know i every week i'm talking with somebody and we're discussing a hand that they played at the casino and that became a great success story for me you know and i love that you know it's one of those things to be able to take somebody that didn't have the courage to go play in one of those games and now they are it's awesome you know and that came from us it, and that's one of the biggest advantages to free poker you know and a lot of players have learned that you know maybe they're not a tournament player maybe they're a cash player and they've done that and what better place if you're trying to you know learn a new strategy or something like that what better format to play that in than a no stakes game you know and that's exactly what we are so you know again to get back to your question chad have fun make some friends and learn some new skills so thanks for the question chad you know, and that was a question that uh, was in one of our podcasts a few weeks ago. Uh, we do player questions. And I mean, it really hit the nail on the head as far as are there benefits to playing in a free or no stakes poker league? And I that's why I wanted to play that for you, because it is. I mean, whether they're a new player or new to the game, you can learn it. And, and that's the great thing, you know, uh, maybe you've, you're an avid player and you just want to work on your skills. So it gives you an avenue to improve your skills, which I really like. Um, or maybe you want to try a new strategy, you know, maybe you want to be more aggressive at the tables, or maybe you want to try to play small ball. This gives you that avenue, you know, to explore that with no stakes. It's not costing you anything to do that, you know? And I, I want to debunk a myth here about bar poker players. You know, people, you know, if you talk to people at the casino and things like that, they're like, oh, they're horrible. You know, just the way they play and this and that, and they just, because they're not playing for anything. Well, you know, that's a myth and I'm going to debunk that. I mean, I've been in $500 buy-ins where somebody at my table tries to get fancy with a 7-4 offsuit you know so i it's a it's a myth and i'm gonna debunk that because starting or continuing to play in a free-to-play league totally has benefits you know this is a game where you're always learning it's just like life you know every day you're learning something in this game you're always learning the minute that you think you know this game 
other people are going to pass you right by. I mean, their skill sets are just going to go right past you. You are always evolving, always learning in this game. You know, I have a saying, small tweaks lead to giant peaks. So does that make sense? Small peaks lead to giant peaks. Tweak your game just a little bit. You know, it, find an aspect where maybe you're struggling. If you tweak it maybe just a little bit, you're going to capitalize on that. Now it, there's your giant peak. So, you know, it, again, learn and improve your skills. Another great benefit are the friends you're going to make. I mean, the seven years I've been doing this, I have made so many friends. I mean, and we're friends outside of poker, you know, not just on poker nights, but I mean, I've spent holidays with people. I've gone on trips with people. It's just, it's a social aspect and it's so much more than just a game, you know, playing a free game, you know, where maybe you're not winning much, you're winning what you spent that night at the bar but you're gaining so much more. So, you know, there are those benefits. Plus the game, the strategy, the tournaments, playing in a free to play league prepares you for those low to high stake tournaments. You know, it, whether you've been afraid to try a casino tournament, you know, you've been intimidated walking past the poker room and you see all those people in there. There's no reason. Once you get to a point where you're comfortable knowing the game, go do it. I, I mean, we have sent players to pretty decent tournaments, you know, they've won buy-ins through our league and our previous league into major events, you know, talking $500 buy-ins into major events that, you know, guarantee 100,000, 300,000, all, I mean, that, that's some big cash that you're there. So there's another benefit. You're able to get into bigger high stakes events by learning your skill sets here, you know, so, and that's one of the things that I just want to touch base on. There's your, there's your benefits. They're there. Those are personal benefits to anybody that's contemplating playing in a free to play, no stakes league. So, you know, another non personal benefit is you're supporting two local businesses. You know, that, that's a way to look at it. Things that don't happen anymore. You know, people supporting local you're supporting the bar or the restaurant that's hosting the free poker as well as supporting the league that's facilitating it so i hope that clarified what some of the benefits are to playing in a free poker league so i and that's going to bring us to our question of the day what got you started in a free poker league and if you're not playing in a free poker league what's holding you back just go ahead and respond in the comments below. So everyone, I've really enjoyed my time here. I look forward to the next time. Please subscribe so you're you know made aware of when we do this again. Connect with me in the comments below, you know, so that way you become part of this community. And until the next time, keep learning and we're going to talk soon.